I brought up the issue of, I guess you'd call it, epistemologically closed systems. I believe that logic is a closed system in many ways, in that it's not internally self-contradictory, but it doesn't have the capacity, or it doesn't have a very good capacity, of coming to terms with that which is not logical, that which is paralo uh, sorry, paradoxical or irrational or whatever, us. Um, logic doesn't always apply. In fact, a lot of the time, logic does not apply. Um, or maybe it doesn't, maybe it, one couldn't say that it doesn't apply, but it, it's not as effective at coming to grips with human beings and our behavior and nature um, as it might be, say, with coming to grips with things like physics. Um, now, a lot of people say that, okay, well, you reject logic and what's going to fill that gap is, uh, if we can call it filling anything, is solipsism. I say, no, no, that's, that's not true. I understand that some people might think that that is solipsism. Um, solipsism gets used as sort of a term of abuse a lot, but uh, let's just assume sincerity here. Um, I don't think that that's solipsism at all. In fact, I would say that things, statements like, well, if we don't assume that logic is absolute, then we can't get anywhere. Well, I would counter that with reminding people that reality doesn't owe us any sort of um, any commitment to being convenient. <laughs> if we can't get anywhere, it's not it's not reality's fault. I would say that we can't get anywhere because of the limitations of our tools. If logic can't proceed unless we do assume the basic axioms of logic, that may be more of a reflection of the limitations of logic than on any underlying reality. In a, in a sense, I find an absolute reliance on logic even more solipsistic. Now, I don't mean that as an, as a, as an accusation, the way that solipsism often gets used. But do you see why I would say that? 